Okay, first tab. You see this red bar at the top? This is showing me the progress of a music track that I'm playing on my phone right now. So if you see, I'm basically playing a music track and look at this. I tap at the center and it pauses the playback. And then I can tap again to resume playback. Tapping on the top right will take you to the next track and tapping on the top left takes you to the previous track. You can even run your finger along the top edge to go backwards and forwards. And it works irrespective of which app you're in and so it's a great way to control your music playback without going into the music player. The app is called Media Bar and it's completely free to use. Next, let's say I take a screenshot and I want it instantly available on my laptop. All I have to do is click on share, select clip, and the screenshot appears on my laptop through the clipped extension. The same holds true for copying and pasting text. So select the text, share, select clip, and then that piece of text is available for me to use on my laptop. For this, just make sure that you download Clipped from the Play Store and install Clipped on other devices where you expect this to work. And make sure that you're signed in with the same Google ID on all devices for this to work flawlessly. Next up is Craig's Do, and that helps you manage your tasks in a very simplistic manner. So you think of something you've got to do, you just write it down, give it a color, and add it here to your inbox. You can keep adding if you've got several tasks in mind. Now by default, everything stays in your inbox. You can move things around, and if you want to remove something, just slide and tap on delete. You can then assign tasks to projects that you would have created within the app. And when you do that, you get the option to add a description, attach a priority, and decide a due date along with a due time. And you can quickly bucket your tasks into today, tomorrow, sometime in the near future, or under deferred if something is blocking it. Now you can go here and quickly see tasks that are due for today, or the ones that are upcoming for example. So it's a great way to quickly look at the tasks in the near future. Or you could go to a project and look at all the tasks for that specific project. And within a project, you can see your tasks ordered by priority and you can open a project to make edits or even add subtasks. It'll work like a charm. All right, next is Snapdrop. And that's my go-to app for transferring files between any two devices. So let's say I want to send these photos to my laptop. So select them, click on share, choose Snapdrop. And when I do that, right now I'm not gonna see anything, but all I have to do is go onto my laptop and open snapdrop.net. And as soon as I do that, it's gonna show up on my phone. And then I just select the laptop on my phone and the transfer is started immediately. And then I can just go onto my laptop, click on save and select where I want to download this file. And I can do this between two phones or a phone to a tablet also. As long as they have Snapdrop, they will all show up and I can just transfer on any device on my network. And actually leave phones aside. You can use this to transfer files between any two devices. It could be from a tablet to a tablet, a laptop to a tablet, and even from your Windows computer to your iPhone. Now, how many times has this happened that someone has asked you to WhatsApp something to them and you've had to first save their number as a contact and then send them your address or location or whatever? And what if I told you there's a way to send them a WhatsApp message directly to their number without saving them as a contact? So here's what you need to do. Just copy the phone number from wherever, right? And use an app called Tellurium. Now in that app, you select the country code first, then paste the number, and then you have to tap on this button which says send. And yeah, it will instantly open up the chat window on WhatsApp with that number. Next, how do you like this live wallpaper? Or how about this one? It's so smooth and high quality, right? Or how about this one? It's simple yet dynamic. You can set these live wallpapers as home screen walls or even on your lock screen. So this is going to be the only wallpaper app that I would recommend in this entire video and it's really good. They're all super high quality wallpapers built for high resolution displays and none of them slow down your phone or appear laggy and the collection is simply amazing. I mean, just look at this stuff. It's so smooth and they're all so classy. And there's also dynamic live wallpapers that change automatically with respect to the time of the day. And sure, live wallpapers tend to consume a bit more battery than usual, so that's something that's entirely your call. Now, of course, there's a combination of premium wallpapers and some wallpapers that are absolutely free, but if you do want the premium version, it does come at a small price, but I do have 20 promo codes to give away, so subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and DM me there asking me for promo codes to live loop. Okay, look, how quickly I can jump to different apps using nothing but my notification tray. 
and these are all apps that I use the most and I've conveniently placed them in this notification tray. The app is called Notification Shortcuts and it basically just places shortcuts to actions and apps which are super easy to access. So I can very easily just select apps which I want to place in this block and I've got the option to customize these icons the way I want to view them. The biggest benefit really is that you can go from one app to the other directly and never have to go to the home screen or the app drawer looking for the app. You can also place app specific actions or shortcuts in here. So it could be like a direct call to someone or a shortcut quickly to add an event in the calendar and so on. And so all of these are actions that are available for you to place and access super quickly just from the notification tray. Okay, now let's talk about a KW GT widget that I think was simply the best of 2022. Clearly it's inspired by the Nothing Launcher and if you like it, you can now use these widgets on any Android phone. And all widgets are really functional, super useful. For example, I can click on the plus button to quickly add a note or quickly get into Google Lens like that. So it's called the Nothing or the Nothing KWGT widgets and the collection is truly unique and exclusive to the aesthetics of the Nothing phone launcher. Very masterfully designed and the variety is also very impressive. I mean, you've even got a calculator widget in there. It's crazy. There's also matching wallpapers that you can use with these widgets straight out of the box, but pretty much any gray black wallpaper should go with these widgets very well. Now, like most premium KW GT packs, this one too is paid, but I do have 25 promo codes to give away to you guys. And all you've got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to no think KW GT widget pack. I'm going to leave a bunch of rules in the description as to how I give away those promo codes. Make sure you go through them. Now these widgets also bring me to the icon pack of the year which in my opinion is the nothing icon pack. It's pretty much on the same lines as the previous KWGT widgets but this is designed by another developer. It looks fabulous and obviously goes extremely well with these KWGT widgets that I spoke about. It's got a very modern minimal look with a techy flavor so I really love it. So it's got about 1900 custom icons which covers majority of the popular apps that are out there and it's got like very well matching wallpapers and you don't need to spend time looking for the right wallpaper to go with this icon pack and it's packaged with its own set of KWGT widgets as well. So yeah, with this icon pack, you get the icons, the wallpapers and the KWGT widgets. And all of this does come at a small price, but I do have 30 promo codes to give away to you guys. So you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to nothing icon pack. Now, look at this stack of apps. I've put them in a way that they don't take much space, but they're also quite a lot in number. Or maybe something like this, four apps at a time taking only one line at any given moment. Or even this, it even looks cool, even though I think this would make you slower. So the app is called App Bar. Very simple, you select the apps you want on your home screen inside a widget. Then decide if you want it in a grid view, stack view, or a list view. And then you can decide the grid size. Do you want three apps together or six apps in one grid? You can then choose a custom icon pack. You can customize the size and so on. And once you're ready, just place it onto the home screen and you're all set. And you can create many such widgets, not just one, you know, and each one could have a different style and different custom settings. It's not a free app though, and it does cost about $2. And I do have 30 promo codes to give away. So, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there, asking me for promo codes to app bar. Okay, that is an always on display and it looks gorgeous. So let's say you're playing some music, right? And I lock my screen. I get these beautiful visuals on my lock screen. And it doesn't have to be just this. It could be this or this one, or maybe something like this, or my favorite one, which is, right here. And all of this is customizable. You can also skip and pause music tracks on the Always On display itself. The app is called Always On Edge Music Lighting and there are 24 such visualizations to choose from. 12 of them are free, which is actually more than enough. Now you can customize, you know, for example, the Always On display. So you could choose from all of these. Uh, you can choose a background. You can also choose the visualization color. You can choose a manual one or it'll pick up from the album art. And hey, you know what, even if the music is not playing, it will work like an always on display as you see over here. Next, there's a screenshot app that brings iOS level screenshotting capabilities to your Android smartphone. It's called Screen Master and let's say you take a screenshot and you want to focus on one part of the screenshot so you can, you know, just magnify it 
within the screenshot and bring more attention to that part. Else, you also have the option to quickly insert an arrow in a color of your choice or you could just create a spotlight on a part of the screenshot and darken the rest. You also get the option to blur out parts that contain sensitive text and it also lets you add text effects, emojis and stickers on your screenshot. So definitely give this a shot. Okay, now if you rely a lot on voice recordings of yourself or your meetings, then Mic Check is an important app to have. So you can start a recording, pause it in between and resume recording. That's flexible. You can create timestamps to highlight important moments with the ability to give it a title. And then all of that is available for you in a list format. And then you can organize all of these recordings in groups the way you feel it's best. For every recording, you can see the timestamps and jump to those moments in the recording by just clicking on a specific timestamp. And all these recordings can be easily selected and then move to a group and even be assigned tags uh, for you to organize them and nicely access them easily. Okay, the last app. So the best way to remember something is to make it a persistent notification in your notification tray. It's really hard to miss because it's always there. You can do this with an app called Remind Me. Just write down whatever it is you need to be reminded of, assign a priority, and then make it a persistent notification. And once you do that, it will show up in the notification tray until you delete or dismiss it. You can also schedule these persistent notifications so it's sent to you as a notification only at a time that you chose and you can see them all in one place in the schedule tab. It's actually a super way to never forget anything as long as you're in the habit of pulling down your notification tray again and again and who isn't. All right, guys, that pretty much rounds up the apps for the year 2022. You know, these are apps that stuck with me all throughout and never felt the need to uninstall them. So they've proved themselves useful over a longer period of use. And that's why they made it into this app. And I hope that it was also the same for you and that these apps prove themselves really useful. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was very helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.